Hello everyone. In the previous chapter, we understood what are vectors, how we perform addition and subtraction of the vectors. In this chapter, we will understand how we can do the multiplication of vector. So a vector can be multiplied with a scalar value or it can be multiplied with a vector value. Scalar multiplication. When a vector is multiplied with a scalar value, for example, vector a multiplied by 1, 2 or 3. This number here is a scalar value. So first we will understand vector scalar multiplication. If we have a vector, vector a which is 3 comma 2, that means it is connecting origin to point 3 on axis x and point 2 on axis y. So this is our vector a. When we multiply vector a with 2, what we do is we multiply the numbers with 2. So the resultant vector is 3 multiplied by 2 and 2 multiplied by 2. So 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. The resultant vector is 6 comma 4. How do we multiply the vector on a graph paper? If we have to multiply a vector with 2, we get 2 copies of the vector and we connect them from head to tail. So here is another copy of vector A connected from head to tail. If we had to multiply it with 3, we would have 3 copies of vector A connected from head to tail like this. But in this example, we are multiplying it with 2. So the resultant vector takes us to the point 6 on axis x and 4 on axis y, which is the number that we got by multiplying 3 with 2 and 2 with 2. So that is how we do scalar multiplication with the vector values. Now the second multiplication is vector to vector multiplication. Vector to vector multiplication can be done in two ways. One is the dot product. Another is cross product. And how do we decide that what to do when we have to multiply a vector with another vector in our shader? The choice depends on what type of result you are looking for. If you are looking for a scalar result, if you are looking for a number in result, then you will choose the dot product. What does that mean is vector dot vector is equals to a number, a scalar number. And if you are looking for a vector in a result, then you will choose cross product. That means vector cross vector is equals to a new vector. This is similar to what we got when we multiplied and added the vectors. When we added two vectors, we always got a new vector. When we subtracted two vectors, we always got a new vector. In the similar way, when we do the cross product between two vectors, we get a vector. But when we do a dot product between two vectors, we get a scalar value. So that is how we choose which multiplication to do based on the result we want to achieve. Now we understand what to do in which situation. But let's understand what is dot and cross product. So first understand the dot product. If we have a vector A in 2D space, we will define it as AX, AY, and it's a vector A, and vector B is BX, BY. The dot product of two vectors will be 
ax multiplied with bx plus ay multiplied by by 